In question 41 on the practice review, it's about interest expense on a note payable, and notice that the interest is stated separately. In other words, the, you pay the note principal, plus you pay the interest on that principal. So we're going to go through, and on 831, we're going to borrow the money, which is simply debit cash, credit, note payable for the $240,000. And we're going to repay the note on October 31st, 10, 30, excuse me, on October 30th. And how we repay the note is we debit note payable because we're going to pay back the $240,000. We're also going to have to pay the interest expense on that note and credit cash. So to get the interest expense, it's the principal, $240,000, times the interest rate, and the interest rate is 12%, times time, and the time between uh, August 31st and October 30th is 60 days, so 63 60ths. And we're just using 360 days in a year just to make the math simple. So the amount of interest is $4,800. So the amount of cash we have to pay back is $244,800. So that's where interest is stated separately. The other way that borrowing can happen is that the note is discounted. And when we borrow using a discounted note, on 831, when we debit cash, we don't get the full principal amount. We get the principal amount less the interest that we will owe on that note. So yes, we'll credit note payable for 240000 but we're going to also be debiting discount on note payable. And how I compute that, it's the principal, 240000 times the interest rate, 12%, and it's a 60-day note, 60 over 360. So notice up front that the lender is withholding from us basically their profit, the, the interest that they would owe, or we would owe. So we're only going to get $235,200. So we don't get the full amount. Now, when this note matures on the 30th and we pay it back, We'll simply debit note payable, 240000 and credit cash, 240000 We'll also need to rename the discount interest because interest occurs because you're using the money. Since on August 31st we hadn't used the money, we can't call it interest. But now since we've used the money, We'll debit interest expense for 4800 and we'll credit discount on notes payable. So notice we're just renaming discount interest. And why? Because time has passed. So notice that this is interest is included in the face, or it's called a discounted note payable. Contrast that with the note payable where interest is stated separately, the two approaches.